garden. It's uh, quite big now, a bit hard to manage, but I do get help. But I just wanted lots of lovely flowers around the place. And hopefully I wanted flowers that all the insects would come and the bumblebees. The plan for the sink originally was I wanted it with flowers in it, but it didn't drain away, so that's why I haven't really done anything with it. Today we're going to make a mini container pond out of an old sink I've had at the bottom of my garden. This is what it looks like now. We're going to show you how to make something like this better for wildlife step by step. Step one, choose a spot your pond will want light, but not full sunlight all day. You can dig a hole and sink your container or just have it sitting on top. Step two, if the container isn't watertight, for example, an old plant pot, then add a piece of pond liner. We don't need a pond liner for this sink. Step three, add a layer of gravel, sand and rocks. We're using play sand as it's safe for aquatics. Do not use builder's sand. Rinse any gravel or rocks before you place them into your new pond. Use logs or stones to create a range of depths and a slope for creatures to climb in and out. Step four. If your container isn't sunk in, you'll need a ramp from the ground outside the pond. We're going to add some soil and rubble around the outside of our pond. Step five, fill your pond. Use rainwater if possible, as tap water contains chemicals. Step six, start planting. You only need one or two plants. Great plants for small ponds include miniature water lily, lesser spearwort, starwort, or flowering rush. Today we're putting some hornwort into the water to help more oxygen into the pond. And we're going to plant some bog plants around the edge of the pond, like ragged robin and purple loose strife. Visit Grow wilder for more plant ideals. Step seven. Now watch and wait. Wildlife will come to your pond on its own accord. Don't introduce frogs, fish, or even water from another pond as this can spread disease. And that's it. Ta-da. Let us know how you get on making a pond in your garden to ins inspire other people in Warmly to help wildlife. Mm -hmm.